So I figured I would do a little how-to on a colony of Dubler roaches. And to get started here, let's go ahead and I will show you a mature male has wings. That's what they look like. And the mature female does not. They just get really big. And they have little tiny, if you can see, little tiny wings on them. So there's the male and the female. And this is why I say these were way easier than crickets or millworms because I'm telling you, I started with six of them. You know, it's kind of messy in here. And I went from six to, I mean, just they are just so easy. Practically, you just feed them, leave them alone, and they will just go. Keep a little heat to them. What I do is I keep them in this fish tank because I have a lot of room for, you know, um, whatever that I need to put in here for them to hide. You just give them a little bit of cardboard in here and, you know, they, they'll be happy. Um, some people put substrate at the bottom. I haven't tried that, so my opinion on that would not be very good. But um, if it is a good thing, I, you can leave me a comment on the bottom and we'll start doing that. But what I have seen so far of doing, you know, like this, I haven't, hasn't heard a thing. Um, I do use uh, fresh vegetables. That's the only thing I feed them because they always say what you feed your feeder is what you're feeding your tarantula. Um, what I use is a stick, two sticks of broccoli, uh, three to four baby carrots, and about a half of a potato. I dice them up, throw them in a blender, blend all that up. That's what they eat, as you can see. I just put it in there, and if I was to leave them alone, it would be gone in a day. <clears throat> um, I know a lot of people use gel. I do not use the gel water for these because <clears throat> they can get all their water from the vegetables. Now, you don't even have to put them in a fish tank if you'd like. You could just put them in a little container like this, like so. And, you know, I put a little tray in there. I always put a tray because it's just easier to put the food on, you know doesn't make a big mess you could pick it up wash it off do whatever you have to put your food back down in there it's way easier to do that way than it is to just drop it in there um you know you just put them a couple cardboard light looking right there that'd be great to start restart a colony they are very slow growers they do not grow very fast so i've been doing this one for about maybe a year roundabout and this is where I've gotten so far I know you know um, they say potatoes are very good with potassium and all that good stuff like that so that's why I always use potatoes in there and carrots and as you can see they just love it um I put them actually in this little cupboard here with a heat heating pad I sit underneath it um, got to keep them at a certain temperature the hotter it is, the better off they'll go. I think it's somewhere between 65 to 70 degrees. And if you can keep them about there, you keep feeding them, and they'll just, just spark up. I know it's cheaper if you grow your own because it's just, you know, bam, pull it straight out, go in there. These can get really pricey. I believe here they are 50 cents for one. So... If you could buy you some pretty good sized ones, start your own, they'll be cheaper in the long run. Um, so if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, you could just leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If not, make sure you hit that bell icon, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all next time.